Hey, what up, decisive marketers? And in this video, we're gonna be comparing three different image optimizer plugins, right? Uh, we're gonna be comparing between Shop Pixel, WP Compress, and U Image Optimizer, right? So, image optimization is very important because uh, images are usually one of the bigger uh, files on your website on your uh, web pages itself and it can uh, you know seriously slow down your website so what you want to do is to actually optimize the file sizes to uh, much smaller sizes so that you can uh, load your pages much faster and give a better experience for your visitors so today we're going to be comparing these three uh, image optimizer tools and uh, before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing or e-commerce content and if you are a lifetime deal or software enthusiast be sure to check out the link in the video description to join our facebook group All right so let's dive in to these uh, different plugins okay right so I've already done the comparison between these three uh, tools itself and uh, between you uh, WP compress and shop pixel so the optimization credits uh, for you is actually unlimited right so you can get um, you know any plans that they have and you can optimize it unlimited right but the they do have a soft cap or of, of uh, 25,000 images right but whenever you go above that soft cap you can always reach out to support and they can lift that uh, limit for you right so next is uh, WP compress uh, it uh, every time it it compresses an image for you it optimizes an image for you it actually eats up about uh, 10 credits okay even though uh, WP compress uh, credits are very generous but uh, you know every image taking up about 10 right so if you have 100 images which is very uh, you, that's about like 20 over real images on your on your site Right, because with uh, WordPress, it always uh, uploads a few different versions, a uh, few different uh, sizes of your images onto your website. So you will probably have about uh, 20 or so images. Uh, uh, and, and if you were to use uh, WP Compress to compress them all, it will take about a thousand credits already. So that's... Um, uh, so that's something to consider. Next is Shop Pixel, right? So Shop Pixel, uh, it only consumes a credit if it's able to compress more than five percent of the image, right? So every time it compresses an image, it eats up uh, one credit. Okay. Next is Manual Upload, right? Manual Upload. Uh, you. Uh, image optimizer there is no manual upload uh, feature uh, same for WP compress so you can't grab any images from somewhere else and upload it onto their uh, optimizer and have it optimized right but with shop pixel they do have a manual upload feature okay all right on their website and uh, you they accept uh, 50 images every single time Right, and then the next one would be for the CDN, right? So these, uh, it's the uh, adaptive images for the U op image optimizer. They do have a CDN, but it's only in the US and EU right now, right? So if you are, if you have visitors um, coming from, let's say, um, Asia or let's say, uh, you know, South Asia, um, East Asia, you know or let's say uh, South America or uh, uh, Africa you know if you have visitors coming from these places um, you know you may not be able to deliver these uh, images fast enough to so that they can load faster uh, when they uh, when this visitor visit, visits your website right so next is WP compress they do have CDN but it's not mentioned uh, where the locations are it is uh, one credit per image load right and 
so that means every time someone comes over to your website whenever the image loads up it actually takes up one credit right so need so even though wp compress gives very generous credits uh, uh, the credits actually you know uh, are consumed very quickly right and every time uh, you optimize an image and you save it into their cloud uh, it uses 100 credits right it uses 100 credits as for short pixel okay as for short pixel uh, their credit is uh, uh, sorry their CDN is global and uh, uh, every month uh, you know it, it just uses one credit for that image whenever it's being loaded right uh, I forgot to mention for you the uh, they don't actually use based on credit they give you a uh, you know bandwidth and it depends on the plan that you have right so if you use up the bandwidth then uh, you know then the 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 CDN stops working right so next is the uh, lazy loading right so you does not provide lazy loading WP uh, sorry you and WP compress provide lazy loading for images however for short pixel it does not it only offers progressive uh, image loading right that means um, all the images do load on your website okay uh, but for larger images it will show up later right so it's it's a progressive image loading next is webp so all of them provide webp uh, however i forgot to mention that for short pixel right so for you and wp compress they do not charge any credit for the uh, webp usage right so when you convert your images to webp uh, you and wp compress does not uh, consume any additional credits but for short pixel right if you were to use uh you know uh you, you, if you were to create a webp version of your image it will take up an additional credit right so at this uh this is where you know uh it'll shop pixel starts to consume a lot of uh starts to consume a lot of credits right next we have uh avif uh uh, file format right so uh, image format so for you and WP compress they do not provide uh, AVIF at the moment however with short pixel uh, they do uh, provide uh, AVIF right you, you uh, however as the same thing goes uh, whenever you create a AVIF file right AVIF image right it will consume a credit as well right so next is uh, w uh, sorry wordpress plugin so all of them uh, have a wordpress plugin right all of them have have a wordpress plugin next is the shopify app so you does not have a shopify app so uh, in fact it doesn't uh, serve any, any kind of website ex except for wordpress right so with you uh, you know you are a bit a bit uh, restricted over here Right, but for WP Compress, they do have a universal version where you can actually put a code in the header and you can then uh, serve your images through their CDN. Right, so uh, it doesn't just work on the uh, Shopify sites, but it works on any kind of sites as long as you can insert images, sorry, you can insert codes within the uh, header uh, of the site itself. And the next one would be short pixel so short pixel does have a shopify app uh, however you know other than wordpress shopify short pixel is not able to uh, uh, you know uh, you can't really use short pixel on any other uh, the adaptive images for short pixel on any other sites unless you you know you get a developer to do it for you right the next one would be js right javascript and css optimization so you and wp compress does optimize your javascript and optim uh, css for you however short pixel is really just focused on images itself and then for cdn right for uh, javascript and css uh, with uh, you and wp compress they can serve uh, these files uh, through their cdn as well uh, short pixel only serves uh, css through their cdn right so i have done uh, i have actually four uh, images that i have uh, compressed and i've used the largest file sizes uh, sorry i've used the uh, 
uh, a largest uh, compression of each different uh, plugin over here right so the uh, uh, I've got four images and I would uh, the links will be posted within the video description so you can uh, open up the pages and check out the different uh, images I recommend that you right click on the image and uh, open the image in a new tab so they can actually see the entire full size image and compare them uh, on your own right so uh, uh, I will leave that that judgment in terms of the quality to you. Uh, personally, I do. I th I think that most of them, uh, even with the largest compression, you it still uh retain a very good quality of the images. Uh, but I'll I'll leave it to you to to make the comparison in terms of the quality of the compression, right? So in terms of the file size after the optimization, however, right, the first one it's a picture of uh, Vanessa, right from AppSumo and the original image is about 47 uh, kilobytes here right, KB here and you through the premium plus optimization right it brings down the file size to 29 uh, KB right 29 KB so that's about a savings of 18 KB and for WP compress uh, it's the one that won over here right at 17 KB Okay, uh, short pixel uh, gives us about 24 KB over here, right? And this, uh, and then the next one is a picture of a tiara, right? So it's like a product image, right? Because I wanted to make sure that I cover a few different kind of images, so I have a picture of a tiara here. So if you are e-commerce store, then you might want to look at this particular image and see if it works for you, right? Because you don't want to uh, over optimize your images and then um have your you know your product image not shown clearly and that could affect your conversion rate so so i have used the tiara uh, uh of uh image over here to show you the differences uh the original image is 176 kb the true hue uh it's uh, 99 kb and wp compress gives you 110 kb and for short pixel it gives you 58 kb so short pixel is the winner here next is a third image of a laptop okay so uh it's 133 kb right so you brings it down to 85 uh, wp compress brings it to 111 kb and for short pixel it brings it to 41 kb and lastly for the uh it's an image of of uh, dogs right so we have some water we have some uh you know some some uh you know the the image of the ground itself right and there are some people in the background as well in this particular images uh, you can look at the detail uh, after the compression as well so the original image right so this is actually quite a large picture it's about 636 kb through you it brings it down to 492 kb for wp compress it brings it down to 50 585 kb so that's a very little savings in terms of the uh, compression here and for short pixel it brings it down to 236 right so that's actually more than 50 percent uh compression over here so for short pixel uh it's it is the clear winner in terms of the file size compression here right because for most file sizes uh, sorry for more most uh, image sizes short pixel is able to you know offer a much smaller file size however do not uh, miss out on uh, you over here as well because it's always consistently as the second winner here right and because of uh, 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 and because of uh, the plan that you offers right it offers unlimited image optimization right and webp does not consume any additional credit at all uh, and the uh, i would say that the cdn is also very generous right and it does uh, lazy loading it does uh, javascript css optimization for you uh, you can be can also be a very good option here right because you covers more areas right the feature wise is, is definitely much uh, broader than what shoppixel does shoppixel just really focuses on uh, on uh, being really good in the uh, image optimization but you does a pretty good job as well 
right uh, so I would say that if you are looking for a uh, image optimizer uh, optimizer uh, you know and and if you have missed out uh, on uh, short pixel right I would highly recommend that you consider you uh, right now right because they do have a, a fantastic offer right and uh, you, you can check it out uh, through my link uh, in the video description as well and if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, comparison if you have any questions regarding image optimizers feel free to comment below and uh, I will definitely try and answer all of your uh, comments right and I will see you in my next video